Hello and welcome to the very latest episode, episode 5 of A Beer and a Tune. I am your host, J.P. Spencer. Well, tonight I'd like to bring forward, uh, for those of you who are out of town, a beer that is considered one of the flagships of Milwaukee in general, and it is most definitely identified as the flagship of this particular brewery. Uh, I first visited this brewery actually at one of their satellite locations called the Milwaukee Ale House, or the MKE Ale House. It's uh, down the street a little ways in the old Third Ward. Uh, it's excellent in the summertime under normal circumstances where you can eat along the water, and they make beer in that location, and that beer is made by the Milwaukee Brewing Company. Uh, they can be found at mkebrewing.com. I am very used to seeing the letters MKE here in Milwaukee because it's the way we abbreviate our airport and it's the way we abbreviate everything Milwaukee. So I would like to show the flagship beer of the Milwaukee Brewing Company and that is a beer called Louis Demise. Uh, so you'll probably be asking questions about that particular name and there is a fantastic story behind this. So uh, it turns out that the owner, Jim McCabe, of Milwaukee Brewing, who started Milwaukee Brewing back in 1997, had a great, great uncle, Louie, who was killed in a bar fight. <laughs> uh, somebody, you know, he uh, can't, you know, he got in a fight, went home, bruised and battered, came back to the bar at closing time, uh, restarted the fight he had earlier that night, and uh, somebody beat him to death with a glass over his head. I know it's, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing about that. Uh, but uh, it is 134 years ago, back in 1886, or 135 years ago now, uh, back in 1886. And, uh, you know, as Homer Simpson once so eloquently put it, it's funny because I don't know him. Uh, so uh, in honor of great, great Uncle Louis, we have Louis Demise, which is an amber ale. It is 5.5% alcohol. Uh, it, it has a, a three hop profile. This uh, beer is available at quite a number of bars in the area, Milwaukee Brewing being around now for 24 years. Uh, they have put their taps in quite a few bars around the area. They tend to rotate the taps for Milwaukee Brewing in the bars that I tend to go to. Uh, they kind of share space with Lakefront Brewing, who I've uh, pro profiled before on this show. So without further ado, let's just cut to the chase and let's take a look at Louis Demise. Now, they do have a shop, they do have uh, gear uh, that you can uh, buy, but I have not bought that glass yet. So we have the uh, very carefully uh, edited glass that I have here. And here is your Amber Ale from Milwaukee Brewing Company. This is Louis Demise. Uh, I've had this on numerous taps. Uh, there are a few different variations that Milwaukee Brewing makes of this beer. One is called Weekend at Louis. Uh, some anybody who knows '80s movies will realize the uh, reference there. They make Weekend at Louis infusing this amber ale with uh, blueberries. Uh, it's a good-looking amber ale, isn't it? And they also have uh, something called uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, they have another series of Louis demise that they age in bourbon barrels. So uh, that's kind of fun. Uh, you know, <laughs> obviously with Last week's beer that had 12% alcohol, I was trying to dial it back a little bit, so we've cut our alcohol profile in half this week with a glass of Louis Demise Amber Ale from the Milwaukee Brewing Company. Uh, lots of beers that they make. Uh, this is their, again, their flagship. They make a very good IPA. They also uh, make uh, some very interesting uh, beers as far, part of their uh, profile. Uh, and they now also have a restaurant that is open in what they call the arena district down near the Fiserv Forum here in Milwaukee where the Milwaukee Bucks play. Uh, Louis Demise, Amber Ale. And that is as good as it always is on tap. A great beer for a great night. Uh, and we'll be back with a tune in just a moment. So this is a song I wrote about the frustrations of internet customer service. 
And this is uh, dedicated to the person I always seem to talk to when I call internet customer service. This is called Kevin from Bangalore. What has happened in the world today? I wish I knew, but my wife, I went away. One minute it's here, one minute it's gone. Ten minutes on the web, how will I ever carry on? Call the number on the back of the box. It's just my luck, a computer that talks. I scream, Representative, I'm on hold and I hear music versions of the stones in my ear. And it's Kevin from Bangalore. He's sorry to hear that I'm so upset. Kevin from Bangalore. He reads the script but can't fix my internet. I ran about 10 minutes before I called And yet somehow they didn't work then And they don't work now And yet Kevin from Bangalore Thanks me for waiting as I roll my eyes Kevin from Bangalore Just a Costco greeter in a Bollywood disguise And just like that They couldn't be more right. Which lights are flashing? I stop to take a look. Next time I'll say screw it and go and read a book. 31 minutes on the phone with this hack is I'll never get back and yank Kevin from Bangalore Are you satisfied with your service today? Kevin from Bangalore I always say yes just so I can get away from Kevin from Bangalore What lights are flashing? Kevin from Bangalore Now they ain't flashing Kevin from Bangalore Kevin from Bangalore, that concludes tonight's episode of A Beer and a Tune. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in.